You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your two-week spoilers. These run from Monday, February 19th, all the way through Friday, March 1st. And I just, I don't understand how it's March already. I was just at the uh, grocery store a little while ago, and there's just Easter everywhere. I'm expecting there to be Halloween next week, probably. All right, if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. We've got five exciting dated spoilers for every day week one and then some sizzling undated spoilers for week two this is this week ahead the 19th through the 23rd is the last full week of february sweeps the following week we just have monday tuesday wednesday i'm sure we'll still have some some big stuff you know going on but most of the action will have happened by the 28th now let's dive right and monday february 19th tracy quartermain is feeling put out and i'm sure it's because lois sorullo is trying to grab some of the reins with this wedding planning she shows up at the house and blq is there and Tracy's not loving it. Plus, Valentin Cassadine announces that he has purchased the invader from Sean Butler. And he has Nina Reeves there for the big announcement, which is going to shock Alexis and Gregory. Curtis has a talk with his daughter, Trina Robinson. She's grieving. She's upset. But he's also looking like he's going to lay down the law and tell her the way things work with him and in their house. So I don't know if he's trying to just motivate her to get back to her life instead of just wallowing in grief. Jocelyn is furious about Sonny sending Dex out of town and rages at Carly Spencer about it. I'm sure, you know, it's going to be a rough week for Carly. That's all I'm going to say. This is not a good start to it, and there's not going to be a good end to it later because of what is going on with Nina and Valentin. All right. Also on Monday, Marshall wants some answers, and Stella Henry is there to support him. Tuesday, February 20th, Jordan is surprised by something, and Sonny pushes back on Dante Falconeri. He rebuffs him. Sonny is just, he's hurt. He's mad. He's continuing to lash out he feels like everybody is betraying him plus somebody's trying to kill him and word of course is going to spread about olivia jerome because alexis stopped by to tell ava and she's going to be dealing with that too she and sunny are going to be talking about the death of her mobster sister very soon Curtis admits something to Portia that really surprises her, and Anna tries to make a bargain with sketchy Cyrus, and Valentin has some advice for Nina after he's given her this weapon for revenge. Wednesday, February 21st, Nina cannot wait to rub something in Carly and Drew's face, and I'm excited to see these scenes. I... I said this before, I think in the weekly spoilers, I don't mind Nina versus Carly. That's very soapy, very dynasty, very Dallas, where you have the two strong women going at each other. I'm fine with that. Drew, he needs to step out of it because he is getting to me what I see as physically overbearing. And even though he actually hasn't threatened Nina physically by when you're that much, when you're a big guy like that and you are looming over a woman physically and and making crazy eyes and like, you know, gripping your fist and just, you know, crazy jazz hands. It's threatening and I don't like it. All right. Trina encourages Joss. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry. That should be the other way. Joss should be more worried about Trina. Joss's boyfriend is actually alive. Let's not forget that. Felicia helps Lucy Co. and Ava and Sunny talk about their past. And I'm sure this is when they're conversating about her dead sister, Olivia. And Spinelli talks to Cody some more. He opens up to him. Thursday, February 22nd, Carly and Drew are not in agreement on something. They are at odds. I have to guess it's about Nina and more revenge. Maxie and Spinelli have a little spark, a little moment that might blossom into something more. And Jagger, I know he wants to be called John, but I want to call him Jagger. Uh, Jagger ruins the plans of Anna and Dante. Of course, they wanted to 
put somebody into the cell with that WSB with the gun guy and try and get some info from him. But it looks like John Cates is shutting it down. Sonny puts his head together with fellow mobster Selena Wu. They're probably also trying to figure out who this shooter could be. And Sasha tells Cody that he he did a good thing. Friday, February 23rd, we've got Sonny faced with a big decision and Christina is having a romantic night with Blaze. Sam and Liz have a chat. I'm sure this is about, you know, the children that they made with Jason, who is back very soon. Gregory is kind of pressing Tracy about something and TJ Ashford is worried. All right, going into the week of February 26th through March 1st, things are starting to come into focus where this shooting investigation is concerned. After Sonny and Selena have a talk, I think Sonny might have a better idea of who could possibly be the culprit. Jagger, I think, is closing in on some things. I believe Anna and Jordan and Dante are about to figure out some things. If all these people would cooperate and share information, they could probably crack this case. But Sonny already made it very clear he is not going to cooperate with law enforcement, even ones that are friends and family. We've got Blaze's mom, Natalia Rogers Ramirez, showing up the week of the 26th, played by Eva LaRue. And just as Christina and Blaze are heating up, her her Catholic mother, who is not so pro-LGBTQIA, is in town. I'm sure this is going to get awkward. Blaze swore to Christina, though, that she was ready to come out. Nina is looking forward to using her newfound power that she got from Valentine to annoy her enemies, get revenge on them. So we're not sure if she's going to wind up being like the editor at large at The Invader, which is kind of Alexis's job right now. Or maybe they're going to create some digital fashion division to compete with Crimson. I don't know, but I'm sure she's going to figure out a way to weaponize what Valentine has given her. And I'm excited to see Valentine back. Now, he's supposed to be on this six months hiatus. So I don't know if he's just coming in like once a month to shoot for a day and shoot several scenes. I love seeing James Patrick Stewart, so I'm not complaining. I am curious, though, when we're going to have him back full time and if he and Nina are going to be romancing or he and Anna still chin to chance. So many questions around it. Meanwhile, Dex Heller, I don't think is gone at all. He's supposed to be in the safe house until Brick gets him his fake ID and everything. But knowing that Sonny is in trouble, I just feel like Dex isn't going to step too far away, no matter what Sonny says or how he threatens. All right. Those are all of the two week spoilers I have for General Hospital. Please drop your comments on what you're excited to see. Definitely click subscribe if you haven't. And please please come back soon. We are here talking GH seven days a week. And as always, it is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>